Give him the Holy Ghost confidence, the Holy Ghost boldness, oh God. Oh God, to declare your word on this morning, oh God. To walk out in faith, oh God. Oh God, even as Peter walked on the water, let him walk on your word on today, God. Oh, Father, Lord, keep, oh, oh, God, every leader in this building, oh, God. Ha, hallelujah, Lord. Oh, God, thank you, Lord, for every member in this place, oh, God. For every faithful saint that's viewing, oh, God. Oh, God, Lord, we thank you for everybody, God, in the body of Christ right now. We lift you up and we give you praise, God. We praise you, God, come in this service and have your way. Have your way on today, God. Save, heal, and deliver. In the name of Jesus, let us all say thank God. And amen. amen. I'm going to read to you briefly John 3, verses 5 through the 7th verse. Amen. And it says, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born of water and of spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh. And that which is born of the spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I say, that I, that I say unto thee, ye must be born again. Can I read that seventh verse again? It says, marvel not that I said unto thee, ye must be born again. Amen. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exhort his name together. The great new Bible way, Church of God in Christ, our 2022 theme, expect God to renew in 2022. Coming from Psalms, the 51st, 51st chapter of Psalms and the 10th verse. And our church slogan, a church where love flows because God is in control. The 2022 international theme, the challenge we face. Presiding Bishop and Chief Apostle Bishop J. Drew Shear. Acknowledgements of our visitors, special guests, friends. If you are here today, please stand. Amen. 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 Thank you for choosing to worship with us today, and you are always welcome. Well, it's the first Sunday in February, the second month of the new year. Any February birthdays, please stand. All right. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Are there any February uh, anniversaries? All right. They said I do in the love month. February is the love month. All right. All right. I worship schedule virtual Sunday school each and every Sunday morning through conference call at 9 a.m. Central. And you know the number, 978-990-5000. And the code is 602-784-POUND. Sunday morning in, wor in person worship is at 11 a.m. Central Time. Wednesday night prayer at 8 p.m. And the number is 978-990-5000. And the code is 602-784-POUND. Friday, one hour of power in prayer in person here in the sanctuary at 11 a.m. Central Time. Then we're going to join the Greater New By The Way Mother's Board for virtual prayer every Tuesday morning at 6 a.m. and every Thursday at 7 p.m. Central Time. This is coordinated by Mother Jessie Dandridge. Join the Greater New By The Way Church of God in Christ virtually for any of these worship opportunities by means of social media. Facebook is Greater New By The Way Church of God in Christ. Instagram is Greater New Bible Way Kojic, and YouTube is Quick Church Services. Temple of Deliverance Church in Crossett, Arkansas presents uh, our women in red, white, and pink love edition. And this is this afternoon at 3.30 p.m. And their special speaker is our very own evangelist, Joe June Rogers Joseph. So we're going to be praying for uh, Evangelist Joseph as she traveled over the highway and that the Lord would truly bless them in their service today. We ask them for special prayer to the Rogers family of the loss of Sister Velma Laverne Rogers, better known as Aunt Vernon. 
She was the youngest sister of our founder, Superintendent Rochester Rogers Sr. Aunt Vernon was 78 years old. And I will always remember her because every time I spoke to her, and probably you too, yeah. you, I would say, hey, Aunt Vern, how you doing? And she said, blessed of the Lord and highly favored. Yeah. Please remember the Rogers family in your prayers. Good news, good news, good news. The Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ is celebrating 45 years of successful thriving and yet counting is the theme for this year's Family Day service. And we ask all to join us on that glorious day. We want to worship and praise the Lord for all his goodness. And that will be next Sunday, February the 13th, 45, 45th Family Day service at 11 a.m. morning service. And the speaker is Bishop Charles Rogers of Memphis, Tennessee, which is a cousin of our pastor. You don't want to miss this service. The chairman is Deacon Stephen Jackson, and the co-chairman is Deacon Curtis Moran. Yeah. Amen. Save the date. Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ, the 13th Annual Go Red for Women. Yeah. This will be Sunday, February the 27th at 11 a.m. It's been two years. Oh, but New Year, same God, Go Red for Women, Sunday, 2022. The thing, my heart is in God's hand. Yeah. Pink, red, and pearls. And the speaker is missionary Rosie Marks. Oh my God. The first lady of New Beginning Church of God in Christ of Fordyce, Arkansas, Fordyce Central District. It promises to be a life changing and spiritual epic. Yes, Lord, it will be. Please govern yourselves accordingly to these announcements. Thank you. Lord, everybody. I said, praise the Lord, everybody. Some of you. I said, praise the Lord, everybody. Well, this morning I'm here to this is found a little bit on what Sister Quick was was talking about. I always try to run from this announcement because most of the time I get emotional about it. Reason being because I always go back to the time when I first got saved. Can anybody remember when the first time they got saved? Yeah. You want to tell mama? Everybody. Daddy? Everybody. You want to tell everybody about how God has been so good to you and how he came into your life? Yes, sir. Do you remember when you got saved? Yes, sir. I'm here to uh, encourage you about Father's Day. Yes, sir. I remember over 45 years ago that this all got started. I can imagine there were some good things at Mother Rogers' house going on, and I imagine there were some bad conversations. But this is the good thing that came out of it. Ain't God do it? Ain't God do it? Can you imagine the things that went on back then? We got to spend the money of the household for this to go on. Can you imagine? Yeah. But this is what the end result is. Yes, I ask you again, isn't God good? Yes, for this yes. But anyway, 45 years of successful climbing and yet counting. That's the theme for this year. Yes, sir. We already let you know that it's the 45th year and it's going to be at the 11 o'clock service. Now our pastor was smart enough to change it from 3 o'clock to 11 o'clock. But I want y'all to know it wasn't because of no Super Bowl. I want y'all to know it wasn't because of a Super Bowl. It was because of the pandemic. But that's one reason why you need to be here next Sunday excited about what the Lord is doing. Certainly, he is on fire, amen, for this ministry, and we thank God, amen, amen. Very briefly, very briefly, amen, because we want to get to the Word of God on this morning, amen. We want to recognize, amen, I'm going to ask if, amen, Ella Quick, amen, Sister Quick, amen, if they would come stand with me, amen. We have, amen, some new members, amen, that have graduated Amen. From our new members' orientation. Come on, very briefly, Ella Quick and Sister Quick. Amen. I need your presence. 
amen, to stand by me, amen, along with our church secretary, amen. We want to recognize, amen, these, amen, that have come, amen. You heard, amen, Deacon Jackson, amen, make mention of the fact, amen, that we are growing. I'll say that again. We are growing. Amen. And to God be the glory for all the things that he has done and continue to do in our lives. Amen. I'm going to ask, amen, at this time, amen, if our church secretary, amen, if she would take the podium, amen, we're going to come down, amen, because we, amen, are going to recognize these, amen, that have come to be a part of this great ministry, amen, and we want to let them know that we thank God for them, amen, by the way, church, let's stand all over the building, amen, and welcome these new members of the Greater New Bible Way, Church of God in Christ, God bless you, thank you for this family, God, that you have surrounded me with that are praying for us, that hold up our arms on today, God. I thank you today, God. Thank you for the warriors, oh God. Those that are standing on the wall, God. That shall not come down, oh God. We thank you. Now, fathers, I get ready to declare your word over this house and over these, your people. God, speak through me. Allow me to speak with clarity and understanding, God. Oh, God, allow teach preaching to be easy on this morning, God. Hide me behind the cross, and I dare not take any glory. Giving you all the praise and all the glory. Come on, put your hands together and give God some praise. Come on, if you know that he is your strong power, amen, and you know that it was because of him that you're here today, come on, put your hands together and give God some praise. While you remain standing, amen, if you would grab your Bibles, amen, and turn with me to the book of Acts. The book of Acts, the 12th chapter, is where we'll begin reading on this morning, amen, God bless you. So happy to see all of you, amen, the house truly has already been addressed, amen, but I've just got to say one more time, thank God for the Greater New Bible Way Church family. Thank you on today. Thank you on today. Acts. Amen. Acts, the 12th chapter. Amen. Verse, amen, number one. Amen is where we will begin reading on this morning. And it reads, Now about the time Herod, the king, stretched forth his hands to vex certain of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to the four Quaterians of soldiers to keep him intended after Easter to bring him forth to the people. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him. If you would drop down to that 12th verse. And when he considered the thing, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John. There they go to the mothers. Mm, I'm saying something. Whose surname was Mark. Where many were gathered together praying. Listen to me this morning, you all. I'm making a point. And as Peter knocked at the door of the gate, a damsel came and hearkened named Rhoda. And when she knew Peter's voice, 
She opened not the gate for gladness, but ran in and told how Peter stood before the door. Tell somebody why you praying. God has already prayed. answered your prayer. Come on, look at somebody and tell them why you praying. God has already answered your prayer. Somehow to give God some praise in this house on today. You may be seated in his presence. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. And I've been delighted ever since I was invited to be a part of this grand old church of God in Christ. Y'all might as well get with me now. And I thank God that we have some praying people right here that are staying on the wall. I wish y'all could help me give God thanks for the mothers of the great new Bible and Church of God in Christ. Have mercy, have mercy, Lord. I'm so grateful, I'm so grateful. I got so much to be thankful for this morning, Deacon Jackson. February. Yes, we know it, amen, it is a power-packed month for the greater, greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. Next Sunday, celebrating 45 years. Amen. Then we, amen, we know all about this is Black History Month. Am I in the house on today? Celebrating Black History Amen. In this month. Amen. Then we go to what? Go Red Sunday. Amen. Where we thank God for the women of the church. And we're going to lift up and celebrate the women, amen, that have come through many hard times. Come on, give God thanks and praise. So happy. Even as I look over this audience today, I thank God. God bless you, amen, Reverend, amen, and amen, and Mrs. Amen Barnes. Come on, thank God for them being back with us on today. Amen. When I look over this audience, I see the saints of God coming back to church. Did y'all hear what I said? I see the saints of God coming back to church. And I look around, amen, I see that we're almost, we're almost, pandemic fool this morning. Don't you know I got a reason and I got a right to give God some praise on this morning. Thank you, Jesus. Our leader, our leader of the Church of God in Christ, Bishop Sheard, once again, has put us on notice. Amen. February the 1st, he has put us on notice. What? Thank you. Somebody's paying attention. Amen. I know we just got off of prayer. Amen. But he said, let the prayer continue. Amen. But I can't help but to be in line with the National Bishop on this morning. Yes, I know I talked about prayer. Amen. But can I talk about prayer just a little bit more on this morning? Can I talk about, can I encourage you? Amen. Amen. Where you are. Go back to your prayer room on this morning. Look at somebody in there and tell them, neighbor, what the preacher want to talk about today. Whatever you do, don't stop praying. Come on, look at somebody and tell them, neighbor, I know it's been tough. I know it's been rough. But tell them to don't stop praying. Come on, come on, come on, give God some praise. When we look at all the terrible things, all the devastating things, amen, that we're dealing with, that we're going through, amen, psychological, amen, all those things that are attacking us, amen, physically, amen, all those things that the enemy is just throwing darts at us. It lets us know what? We are in trouble. Amen. Russia on the verge, amen, of amen, going to war. Amen. Which is going to involve more than just Russia and Korea. All, right, all, right, all, right. all of us would have to pay a part in that if that happens. Good God. But I come to tell you this morning, it is the affliction and 
the trials. It is the tension, amen, of the furnaces that allows us to grow to the strength, amen, that we're operating in, in this morning. Somebody ought to give God a thank you for it. Mmm. Mmm. What are you saying this morning, Brother Rogers? God would not allow, amen, any of us to go through anything that will destroy us. When the Lord allows things to come our way, the thing that come, amen, it will strengthen you. Tell somebody it's coming, amen, to make you stronger. Do you not know, amen, that your pain has a way of deciding, amen, your goal? Hmm. Thank you, Jesus. My pain can decide my goal as to whether or not, amen, I'm going to come out victorious or am I going to just lay over, amen, and be a victim. Help me somebody this morning. Because, because, amen, I learned that pain will drive you to a corner or pain will drive you to a prayer room. Won't it do it? Is there anybody else that's been in pain, amen, besides the pastor on this morning? Thank you, Jesus. I have some witnesses, I believe, in the house on today. That pain, pain, amen, has a way of making you pray even when you don't feel like praying. Pain, pain, pain has a way of making you lay your hands on yourself. Not waiting, amen, on anybody else to show up. But pain can determine your goal, my goal. My goal? Did you say my goal? I just declared by the power of the Holy Ghost that this shall pass. Think about that phrase, amen, when you got some pain going on. And ain't nobody there. Amen for you to talk to. Ain't nobody. Amen. You got to make up in your mind. I've just decided to follow Jesus. I just decided to make Jesus my choice. Good God am I. I don't know when it's going to pass. But I declare and I decree by the power, amen, of the Holy Ghost. That my pain shall birth change. Come on, look at somebody and tell them your pain is going to birth a change. Ah, thank you, Jesus. My pain determines, amen, my praise. I don't feel like praising him, but I will bless the Lord mm -hmm, at all times. And his praises shall continually to be in my mouth. Mm. So the church, the church, the church went through a period, a very defining period in the book of Acts. What is happening to the church? I'm glad you asked this morning because we see here that the church, amen, in Acts is having to suffer persecution. They are at the target of devilish attacks. It is no secret that we are all under attacks and that we're all going through some things even right about now. How many of us, amen, can shame the devil and tell the truth that we're going through something even right now? Mm-hmm. But I know God, mm, is going to bring me out already. I'm already happy, you all. I know that God is going to bring me out victorious. Tell somebody I can see it in the future. And it looks better than it does right now. Come on, clap your hands and tell the Lord, thank you before you come out of that thing that you're going through now. One thing 
thing we got to keep in mind is, amen, whenever we come to the name of God, whenever we call on the name of God, whenever we call on the power of the Holy Ghost, we know that God is going to make a way of escape from every situation that you may be involved in right now. I just want you to know, amen, how much do you have to go through, amen, in order to escape? How much do I have to go through? When will it end? When will this be over? You see, you see, it's not an issue of whether or not I'm going to come out. Because, amen, I'm going to come out victorious. I just need to know, good God Almighty, what I got to go through. Mm -hmm. So, so the church had to go through, amen, a very difficult time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And what did the church do? Somebody asked the question, what did the church do? Well, let me give you, amen, hear what it says. The Bible says, and the church began to pray. I want to drop something in this place. Amen. For those of you that have been praying, amen, seemingly a long time. According to the Bible, Isaiah 62 and 1, for Zion's sakes. And I'm paraphrasing, I will not keep silent, said the Lord. Mm -hmm. And the Lord is speaking. Isaiah 62 and 4. Never again shall you be called God forsaken land and the land that God has forgotten, but you shall receive a double portion. You ought to look at somebody and tell them God's going to give you double for your trouble. Good God Almighty. And not only that, amen. You shall be declared the land of God's delight. Good God Almighty. You're not the bride, amen. And God will claim you, amen, as his bride. So the church, have to say the church, was suffering persecution. And what is going on in the book of Acts where the enemy, amen, was out to destroy Peter? Thank you, Jesus. Now you can tell, amen, that Peter, amen, was somebody in the church. Because the Bible says, amen, that the church went down to Mary's house. Where Rhoda, amen, was praying. Mm-hmm. When, when all get together. Good God Almighty. Amen. And when we get with one accord. You'll see, unlike never before, that there, oh my God, we're all down at Mary's house with one accord. And they began to pray. Well, as they prayed, God got busy. Good God Almighty, have you ever been in a situation where your back was against the wall? And you had a sincere prayer that you had to get by yourself and tell the Lord all about your trouble. Good God Almighty. Well, I remember, amen, an instance in my, can I put myself out there this morning? Mm -hmm. And our wife share, amen, we share a similar testimony. You've heard him give his, amen, but let me tell you mine. Amen. I was in a terrible thing. I was in a bad situation. I was very low to the ground. My back was against the wall. I didn't know where to turn. I couldn't go to the left. And I couldn't go to the right. But one day, while I was at work, the Lord directed me, don't go to lunch, son. You need to go home. You need to go there because I believe, amen, it's silence there right now. Nobody is there at the house. He directed me to go to my room. Good God Almighty, he directed me to fall down on my knees. And while I was down 
on my knees. I was telling the Lord that that he already knew that was going on in my life. Lord, if you don't fix this thing right about now, I don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. Lord, I need you now like never before. And I need you to show up in my life right now. I need to hear from you today. I can't wait another second. I can't wait another minute. I can't wait another hour of the day. And while I was down on my knees, I told the Lord about what he already knew. I just made it plain and told him, Lord, I need you right now. Good God of mine. And by the time I ended that prayer, and I got up to make my way back to my place of employment, before I could put my hand on the doorknob of the door, to exit out of the house, my phone rung, and I saw that number. I saw the person who was calling me. I said, let me just see what they want before I get back to work. And when I answered the phone, the other person on the end said, son, I just need you to meet me right over here. I got something I want to give to you. The Lord just spoke to me. I come to tell you, God will do an instantaneous blessing for those of you that have a need right now. And when I got to where he was, don't you know he put something in my hand that brought a smile on my face, that gave me a peace of mind, that put joy in my heart. Because right then and there, I didn't know the Lord could answer prayer like that before. You know what I did? I started going from room to room, checking under some things, looking in some closets. Evidently, there's a bug in this house. Evidently, somebody got this house bugged. Amen, because I never knew God on this earth. But can I tell you, God will do it. I'm going to tell you, God will do it. Whatever you have need of. I dare you to tell him all about it. I dare you to tell him all about the trouble. I just learned something. Mm -hmm. that when I pray I got to start my prayer off with a thank you I found out that those three words amen have a power when I say thank you there's something amazing about it it's not a difficult task amen a long journey amen it's just something you can start doing even right now Hallelujah. It's to give God thanks. Amen. Oh God, for what he's doing in your life. Thank you for your relationship. Thank you, amen, for your work status. Thank you for your family. Thank you for your finances. You can start thanking him now. Amen. Thank you him for a new attitude that is transformed, amen, in your family even now. Thank you for a powerful, amen, and practical truth of his word. Good God, am I, it's something about thank you gets God's attention. Thank you for giving me wisdom to have more love and relationship. Thank you, God, for providing everything that I need. Thank you for giving me, amen, directions about how to follow your plan of life. Thank you. I'm confident, amen, that you already feel better now just by giving God those few words of thank you. Because praying, amen, gratitude, rather than just praying, amen, about a problem, leads to hopeful, amen, and a joyful attitude of expectation. Somebody ought to give God a thank you praise right now. Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. That's not enough. Give God a thank you attitude of thankful praise right now. Get 
Get your mind off of the problem. Get your mind off of the situation. I dare you right now to stand up on your feet and give God a thank you. Thank you because you've been so good to me. Thank you because you spared my children life. Thank you because you spared my mother's life. Thank you because you spared my father's life. You didn't allow death to knock on our door this morning. I thank you. Ah. I can't hear y'all this morning. That ain't enough for the God that we serve. God deserves an incredible praise. that being grateful is not an obligation, but it's an opportunity. Being thankful, amen, it is the key, amen, to enter into God's presence. So says Psalms 104. Being thankful, amen, directly tied, amen, with having peace of Christ rooted in your heart. So says Colossians 3 and 15, amen. Being thankful, Sin's anxiety running in the opposite direction. So says Philippians 4 and 6. Amen. Being thankful helps you discover God's will, His plan and purpose for your life. So says 1 Thessalonians 5. I dare you right now to put those hands together and give God a No matter what you've been dealing with today, God has given you the power to overcome it through the power of being grateful. Y'all hear me this morning. Y'all hear me this morning. When you develop, Missionary Brian, when you develop a prayer field life, God will answer some things that the doctors will be dumbfounded about. I know I'm in the house this morning. When you are thankful, God will open some doors that no man could have opened for you. When you are thankful, man will try to put you down. And God would tell you, live on, my child, live on. You can do this, son. Because if I'm with you, greater is he that is in you than anybody else. I've just decided. I've just decided. If my people what you call by my name. He's talking to the church this morning. He's talking to us. Great and new Bible way. He's talking to those of you that are listening to. If my people. What you call by my name. But humble themselves and pray. Amen. But there are some conditions. You got to turn. You got to seek him. I know some people say a 360. Amen. But when you do a 360, that puts you right back where you started from. You got to do a 180. That's going in a different direction. Leave those old friends. Can I be honest with you? You might have to shake a few of your, amen, your relatives. All of us got some relatives that are attached to us that are just keep pulling us down. We got to shake away. 
we got to loose from some things. God wants our undivided attention. And he wants to heal you everywhere you heard it this morning. Everywhere this nation is hurting. If we would just turn back to God. To the foundations, amen, to the principles that this nation was established on. The church now is trying to conform to the world instead of allowing the warm to conform, amen, to the church. Politics have made its way into the church. And it saddens my heart every time I see it happening. And the church to the highest level, to the lowest level. We need to be an example to the world. I know this may not be a popular message, amen, and it might not get me, amen, a, amen, a place in the highest of pulpits. But I got to tell the truth this morning. God has placed me here and has given me charge to warn the people. To warn the people. It's time to seek God like never before. I know sometimes it might seem like you are all alone by yourself. But I tell you, God has a way of rewarding you. Amen. And for many of us, there are some real rewards, amen, that's just about to catch up with us. Did y'all hear what I said? God has some real rewards that's just about to overtake us. Because you've been faithful. You've denied yourself. You've forsaken some things. So that you could have a closer walk with the Lord. Look at somebody, tell them one more time, whatever you do, don't stop praying. There's a reason that our leader is continuing to encourage us to pray. Yes, we're praying, amen, for this pandemic to cease, for it to come down, for it to disappear. Amen. But there are some things that I need God to do for me personally. How many of y'all remember the movie War Room? Amen. I don't, amen, amen, push a lot of things like that, but amen, but we need to go back and watch that movie again so you can really get the understanding of what I'm saying today. You need to find a place where you can shut up you need to find a secret closet that'll be your war room. When the fight is on, you can go there and call on the name of the Lord. And you know when you summon him, God's got to come to your rescue. You need a prayer room. You need a prayer room. And you know what? When you begin to pray, as God has directed the church to do, everybody would notice that you've been in touch with Jesus, Mother Vanderbilt. I can tell you've been in touch with Jesus by your walk. I can tell you've been in touch with Jesus by your talk. Your conversation are not like others. But your conversation is holy. It's not talking about what's going on in somebody else's house. Did you hear what I heard conversation? Well, I heard this and I heard that. Somebody tell me what the Lord is doing. Somebody tell me how the Lord is making a way. Somebody tell me how God is healing. That's it. I need to hear some good news. I need some good news. 
don't pray about what I, I heard the pastor did this and I heard the pastor did that and I heard the pastor went over yonder. Did you hear that? I need somebody to lift me up in the spirit. Pray that I don't fall. Pray that I not enter into temptation. Lift me up in the spirit. Y'all stand with me all over the building. That's my message this morning. That's my message this morning. Whatever you do, don't stop praying. It's time for the church to take our rightful place. I thank God. I'm going to share this and I'm getting ready to go. I thank God for my sister. Hold up, missionary Joseph. Amen. It's because of the power of prayer. Are you looking for a church where love flows because God is in control? A church where God is really real? Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our church.